Ahoy there, ship spotters! Welcome to our newest ship feature video. In this video, we will talk about one of Tugo Travel's vessels, the MV St. Pope John Paul II, where you will learn more information and fun facts about this iconic ship. Stay tuned! If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get the latest updates. Let's get started! MV St. Pope John Paul II is one of Tugo Travel's flagship rural passenger liners today. She is currently the longest passenger ferry liner in the country with an overall length of 173 meters. She was a former new Miyako of Hankyu Ferries, a ferry operator based in Japan. She was built in 1984 by Kanda Shipbuilding Company in Kawajiri, Japan. While in Japan, the new Miyako sailed between the ports of Okura in Kitakyushu and Sakai Senpoku in Osaka until 1996. The new Miyako also had a sister ship. But wait, what is a sister ship? A sister ship basically possesses the same design with the same dimensions that is nearly identical to one another. Some sister ships may have some small but noticeable differences. Her sister ship was called the New Yamato, which basically had the same design, same length and dimensions as the New Miyako and was paired together in their former route. They sailed together until 1996, when New Yamato and New Miyako was sold to foreign buyers. New Miyako was sold to Philippine shipping company WGNA, also known as William Gothong and Aboitis, which first went to Cebu for refitting of its accommodations. But did you know that her sister ship, New Yamato, was also sold to the Philippines? Yes, but to their rival company, Sulpicia Lines Incorporated. Here's a picture of the two vessels being refitted together in Cebu. Both sisters were reunited after their life in Japan, but now under different companies. New Miyako became MV Super Ferry 12 of WGN Day Super Ferry, while New Yamato became the MV Princess of the Universe of Sulpicia Lines Incorporated. Anyway, back to our topic. MV Super Ferry 12 was one of the flagship vessels of the company and was considered to be the face of the company due to its massive structure and splendid interiors of the vessel. She originally had two cargo decks in Japan, but after she was sold to WGNA, the second cargo deck was replaced with an additional passenger deck for more rooms and more accommodations. It was in 2002 when the William Gothong and Aboitis Consortium parted ways. It was at this time when the owners of William Lines and Gotham Lines divested its shares in the company, leaving full control to the Aboitis family. Reflecting the change in ownership, WGNA was renamed to Aboitis Transport System Corporation, but they retained the Super Ferry brand for its major liner operations. It was also in the adjustment period of this era when MV Super Ferry 12 was again rebuilt. Two of its additional passenger decks were reconverted into a cargo deck to create more cargo space. MV Super Ferry 12 once again became the flagship vessel of the company due to its massive size compared to the rest of the fleet. Another major ownership change happened in 2010 when Negros Navigation bought Aboitis Transport System including its subsidiaries, Cebu Ferries and Supercat for 4.6 billion pesos. They later merged into a single company as Tugo Incorporated, with their passenger ferry operations branded as Tugo Travel. As a result, MV Super Ferry 12 was later renamed as MV St. Pope John Paul II. The ship was named after St. Pope John Paul II, the well-loved Pope of the Roman Catholic Church, who at that time was recently declared a saint. In 2017, SM Investments Corporation teamed up with tycoon Dennis Oi of Chelsea Logistics in acquiring the majority shares of Tugo Group. 
currently, the SM Group holds majority control of the company. Anyway, back to our topic. Here are some photos of her interior as MV St. Pope John Paul II. Do you have any experiences on board this vessel? Or do you have any memories to share? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. See you on our next video.